uh, you guys can lead off. Okay. Well, Matt, uh, off the nice start here now and a nice sweep over the weekend. Um, talk about where your team is at um, this part of the season and if you're seeing what you want to see. Yeah, a lot of a lot of positives to build on for sure. Um, over the course of the first uh, two weeks, really busy schedule for for those first two weeks. Um, I think um, you know being. Uh, even though we're playing in region, when we played down in Arkansas, uh, the travel involved, involved with that, um, it takes a lot out of you. So last week was kind of a grinder week for us as far as our ability to, number one, get better in practice. Um, in the early in the season, it's all about improvement and also to prepare. So I uh, thought that was a really tough week for us and really happy to be able to go 2-0 and in that week. Um, and then, um, you know, the, the victories over uh, Washington Baptist and Harding and uh, Montana State Billings are all important victories for us because they're in region, uh, Division II wins. Uh, so that's that's a really good start for us. Um, but to kind of get through that the week, first two weeks there and then be able to get to this week and number one, rest up, um, and then number two, really work on some specific things that we think we need to improve on. Uh, this is a really big week for us for teaching and for improvement, I think. So um, some of the things we've seen um, is improved spacing on the offensive end. Um, been able to break that down a little bit uh, last week when we were home, and I thought that showed a lot on Saturday. Um, and then just uh, just kind of the commitment to the game plan and execution of the game plan defensively, we're taking some steps forward in that. Um, and I thought we did a decent job of that on Saturday as well. Um, but as, as the season continues to go on, everybody continues to improve, um, you've got to make sure you're improving at, at the same rate or a faster rate than your opponents, and that's the challenge, and that's the fun of college coaching as well so a lot of things to get better at um, for sure and started that yesterday and we'll continue that uh, this afternoon on the practice court. How well do you feel like the team is getting to the rim for those high percentage opportunities when I was here I mean I saw Cody Dwyer just going right to the basket right away. Well we're starting to fit together a little bit better and understanding what we're what we're great at and, and Cody you know is shooting close to 80 percent from the floor because he knows um, that he's he's pretty much a lane scorer and he's he, he really evolved into that uh, role well last year, and he's kind of gotten even better now, putting himself in a situation to get his shot. Um, if you sit and wait uh, and just kind of stand around, a lot of time you're not going to get easy opportunities, and he's learning how to work for those and how to put himself um, in a situation to get shots around the basket by how he screens and how he moves and how he executes our stuff. Um, and then our spacing overall with our other guys that are typically on the perimeter has been getting better and better. And Dwayne has taken some big steps forward in that and Steph as well. Um, and it was good to see Steph have that kind of um, show by having a big scoring game on Saturday. He had 19 points on only six shots. But continuing to watch that film and learn where should you be in, in this situation and in this situation and in this situation. OK, now keep in mind that the other team can guard in three or four different ways. And you know we saw uh, two different types of zone and a man-to-man. -man and a couple different ball screen coverages on Saturday. So about four or five different defensive looks um, from Montana State Billings. So our guys' ability to recognize those early and know what the minor uh, changes are and how we attack those things, um, we're getting better at that. And we're able to kind of um, have better stretches offensively because of that. And then also defensively, as I said, just kind of understanding um, as we switch things up um, what that means in this minor things that we do defensively that are different in this situation or that situation, the more, you know, there's just no substitute for seeing those in a game, in a game setting and being able to learn from those things. And, and then also to see those on film and be able to teach from those things as a coaching staff. So lots of opportunities to improve for sure, but um, definitely excited about the improvements that we've made, especially in the last two weeks. How about the perimeter shooting? How's that? <coughs> yeah. Um, you know, we're, Relying a little bit more on the jump shot, maybe than we have in the past uh, when we had Tyler and David here. Um, you know, both those guys are, are playing professional basketball now. Part of that, at least for both of them, there was was their ability to be physical and score in the lane. Uh, so that dynamic of our team has changed a little bit, and we're probably a little bit more perimeter oriented. Um, or our interior scoring um, is probably more based off of dribble penetration than post feeds. Um, so making that adjustment, um, you know the. Making shots makes it seem a lot better. And part of Saturday was we made shots, but I thought a big part of uh, Saturday was also us getting easier shots on the perimeter 
and learning how to get those easier shots. Um, you know, if you just look at the stat sheet and say a team's, you know, 5 of 19 or 15 of 30, I think, where maybe our last two games from three, it sure seems like it was a lot easier um, when you're 15 of 30. But I think we did a lot of things to get ourselves um, in position to have open shots and shoot the right threes. Steph's learning that for sure. Dwayne's learning that. Uh, Kyle's still learning that, and you know, with, even though he played a lot for us last year. And we're still kind of learning how, how to play off each other. So just learning how to work for those spacing and be in the right spot um, at the right time with the right footwork, um, all those little things uh, still need to be repped out, but we're moving in the right direction. And um, we're going to certainly have some ups and downs with that. Saturday was an up uh, from that perimeter shooting. And, um, you know, and honestly, with the, with the way we're playing now, we're probably going to have some more runs. And that was part of the game on Saturday night too, because when you you know if you're shooting a lot of threes, you're going to have some stretches where you miss a, miss a lot, and you're going to have some where you make a lot. So we've been really good so far at weathering that and understanding that that uh, as long as we're taking the right shots, the good and bad are both going to happen, and that's okay. Um, just sticking to the plan. So um, a lot of those things have have continued to evolve. Um, and again, just the last four games, you know, it's great to get those games and to learn from them. And uh, at the same time, I should rather win learn from those wins and being 4-0 than to have to learn from losses. So hopefully we can keep keep learning and getting better. Uh, Coach, you just mentioned a little bit about the runs. Second half in your last game, I believe it was about midway through, you were up two and then all of a sudden you were up 15. Do you just want to talk about the defense that led to that? Yeah, you know, we watched that, that stretch on film yesterday as a team because I thought for that stretch, the quality of shots that we got on our end offensively um, was far better than the quality of shots that we forced them to take on their end. And that's kind of the theme that we keep harping on is just fight for the good ones and keep making them make one more pass. You know, if we can keep scrambling. And our team has been a pretty good scramble defensive team so far this year. Um, and for that stretch, we were really good uh, at that. We got far better shots. Um, and we were tough enough to work for those during that stretch. Um, and just continue to make that um, a focus and get get longer stretches of the, of the good movement because that was great ball movement, especially on our end, I thought, um, and really, really led to a kind of opening that game up and, and allowing us to take control of the game.